Welcome to another episode of Photoshop Element 6, and this is Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack, and today I thought I would show you how to use multiple adjustment layers, just to show you the power of Photoshop Element 6 and how we can adjust different parts of our picture while not affecting other parts. I thought that would be very interesting to show you. I have my good old friend, the gnome here, and I took this picture with a, uh, a new background that I purchased, just kind of playing around, and I want to go ahead and make some adjustments on this picture. <clears throat> Excuse me. First thing, as always, we're going to go ahead and duplicate the background image. We're going to work with our background copy. Now, the first thing I want to do is lighten this up a little bit. Right in here, you see I got a pretty harsh shadow. So we're going to try to lighten this leaf up a little bit, first of all, before we do anything else. So we go over here to the right, to layers, and we create a new adjustment layer. We're going to call this levels. And once we have the levels open, we're just going to click OK. This will give us our new levels layer right here. Now, if you're on a PC, it's going to, you're going to hit, um, you're going to actually hit Control I. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to hit Command I. And we're going to change this. We're going to fill this with black. There we go. We filled it with black. Now, as you see, it didn't do anything at all to the picture. But what's going to allow us to do is paint with, with our paintbrush and actually lighten the area that we want to lighten. So remember, Control I or Command I, fill it with black. Let's go over here and pick a paintbrush. And we're going to raise the size up a little bit. Remember, you can put your mouse under there and look how it changes to a finger. See that pointer? Might look a little close here. But you can just left click and you can just drag that over. Make it as big as you want. Nice. See, we got a better paintbrush size. Now what we're going to do is just start going over this dark area right here. Just the dark area is what we're working on. If you go over the light area, what's going to happen is you go to brighten that up. It's going to basically... Um, really really brighten it up and it's going to be overexposed so just go over here a couple times I know you're not seeing anything happening right now but now when you leave the mouse go look over here on our adjustment layer we got some white painted on there this white is signifying this right here this area and you, you know if you want to paint a little bit more just to make sure you have it we're going to paint a little bit more now I want you to go back over here and we're going to actually double click on this to open up our levels layer or levels adjustments again. Now watch, when we change this slider, this white, and we make this lightened up, this is, area is going to lighten right here. You can see how it actually is getting lighter. don't want to lighten it too much because it's going to look like it's kind of fake in there so we'll just lighten it up a little bit and then click OK if you want to lighten that area up more now look we can just take our brush back over here and we can lighten the edges up just a little bit more we can actually go in here and you know anywhere you touch you're going to lighten it up a little bit more now here's a trick let's say this happens and it happens to me a lot you go up here maybe you accidentally got a patch right there well, that doesn't look too good. Now you're going to be kind of upset with that. Go back down here and you'll see a little flip-flop thing right on top here. Where we can actually switch our foreground backgrounds. Click on that. That's going to make the foreground black or dark again. Watch, I can get right back over this. And take out what I just did. Anywhere you might have made a mistake. Just go back over and kind of go back over that mistake. Then remember to flip it back. Now that that's done, I'm going to create a granulate um, adjustment layer. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to change the background of this, this picture to a, a granulate so we can actually make it look a little different. Uh, I mean a gradient, not a granulate, a gradient background layer. I told you sometimes these videos are live and uh, they're not. I don't script them first. Uh, although I do practice what I uh, what I teach, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna select the background. Mm -hmm. 
Now, with that background selected, yep, little place up there, there, the background selected, you could even add this right in here. There we go. Now, the whole background is selected. Our gnome is not. <clears throat> now, let's go back over here and let's go gradient. Now, watch what we can do with this gradient. As you can see now, we're just working on the background. The background is changing. If you want to change the setup of your gradient tool, take the angle and just change the angle of the gradient. You can make it on the sides, make it on the bottom. Pretty much do whatever you want to at that point. Here's an easy way to flip it. If you just want to go top to bottom, hit reverse. You see that? It just flips it over. You can try each one of these until you find something that you, you like. Something that's going to blend in a little bit. And you're just clicking around here looking at them. That yellow looks pretty interesting. Alright, so we're going to leave the yellow. And these are your styles. You can have a radial, a diamond. You have a diamond behind him. Reflected. Kind of reflected light behind him. Angled. There's the radius. You can also, with that up, you can also move this around with your mouse. We can give it more orange on the top. Again, you can reverse it. And then click OK. Now you have a lot different background than what you originally started with. So that's just a quick way you can use adjustment layers. And you can use these adjustment layers and you can stack these as much as you want. Just use them over and over and over and over and over. Um, you just go here and you can just do all kind of filtering with it. We can do uh, yellows. Cool filtering that kind of cools the picture down a little bit. There's a color. Density. We can make it even more blue. Come back. And again, since that background is selected, you're working with that background. Click OK. Now, as you can see here, we have multiple adjustment layers. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief little Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. Thanks to everybody out there that's been subscribing. And thanks to those just stopping by and viewing the, uh, the videos. I can't believe the number of people out there that's actually uh, watching the videos. And now I have like five videos over a thousand views with one over two thousand views. Um, makes me feel really positive about creating these actual tutorials for you. And also if you're just strictly watching on YouTube, you may want to watch a better resolution video on Viddler.com. It's Viddler.com slash videos slash Jack's Tech Corner. Well, until next time, I'll see you back here very soon with another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. Bye for now.